Good morning. I'm John McKay, the manager of resource conservation at School District 43, Coquitlam. Uh, here in our district, we've had a common problem in most elementary gyms that get low usage. Uh, they've got constant volume, air handling systems, gas fire. These turn out to be very expensive. And if you're running a gymnasium for 300 people, uh, it doesn't need the same amount of outdoor air. Uh, when you're only operating with 30 people in a gymnasium class or a phys ed class. So, what did we do? We determined that we were going to try demand ventilation, convert the gymnasium with a CO2 sensor to control the outdoor air dampers, put on a two-speed motor, uh, and run this, the whole system on low uh, volume and low outdoor air until 300 people showed up for the assembly once a week. The good news is savings operated uh, showed up to be about 20% of the uh, gas and electric uh, um, for that particular building. So we've gone on from doing our one pilot project. We've got 18 that are uh, completed. The bad news is I've got another 24 to do. So we'll, we'll get to them as fast as we can. Costs are ranging anywhere from about $2,000 to about $9,900. In some cases, we've got two-year payback, quite simply, while guaranteeing the CO2 level in the building. So everybody wins. Good. And you've also done uh, some CO2 control in, uh, in schools as well, right, in the regular in the school part? part of the school, uh, for large central systems, we've started experimenting with demand ventilation in constant volume systems. Uh, it's working out fairly well so far, and as I say, it meets the requirements for our indoor air quality program, meets those targets, as well as reducing the uh, operating energy. So if we can save uh, ten to $15,000 a year per school in ventilation and make everybody comfortable and happy, that's exactly where we want to go.